27. Tributes pour in for the former head judge of Strictly and king of the catchphrase, Len Goodman, who's died aged 78. He had no understanding of just how big he was, how much people loved him. In my own house, we still never use the word seven. We say seven differently. He changed a whole number for so many of us. Now, a third of government money for extra school tutoring after the COVID lockdown still hasn't been spent. And with just under two weeks until the coronation, a BBC poll suggests less than a third of 18 to 24 year olds want the monarchy to continue. Panorama wanted to test attitudes to the monarchy and commissioned an online poll from YouGov. The poll of nearly 4,600 UK adults suggests 58% want the monarchy to continue and 26% want an elected head of state instead. When YouGov asked the same question in July 2013, a year after the Queen's Diamond Jubilee, 75% of people polled said the monarchy should continue, and only 17% wanted an elected head of state. For young people, decline in support appears starker. In the new poll, less than a third of 18 to 24-year-olds said the monarchy should continue, compared to 64% back in 2013. Do you care about the monarchy? Is it something you support? No. And I wouldn't say I don't care, but I'd say it's not necessarily something that I'm invested in. I'd say I wasn't invested in it. The only person I know who does support the monarchy is my gran, and she loves it. Charles has a problem with Gen Z. The future of the monarchy for, for Charles and for William, um, and the popular support which they need, uh, is really in the balance when it comes to the younger people. The future of the scandal-hit business group, the CBI, looks increasingly in doubt tonight. It admitted it had hired culturally toxic staff following serious sexual misconduct allegations. Well, earlier, the Chancellor questioned whether it makes any sense engaging with the group after members deserted it in growing numbers. The Labour leader Sir Keir Starmer defends suspending Diane Abbott, one of London's longest-serving MPs, over claims of anti-Semitism. We have reaction from her constituency. That's not a good thing to say, but I think she deserves what she got anyway, so I hope she's going to learn from that. She's just voicing an opinion, isn't she? And what do you think of her opinion? Well, she's, she's saying what she feels. Also on the programme, the mayor claims nine in ten cars won't be affected by the expansion of the ultra-low emission zone. But do the numbers add up? We'll be finding out. From the East End to the star of Strictly, we remember Len Goodman and his love for London. Instead of Inspiring the next generation, Eurovision's May Muller goes back to her North London school. The 42-year-old man has been sentenced to 10 years in prison for attempted murder after trying to throw a woman in front of a tube train at King's Cross Station last August. 22-year-old Maria Osefeso was on her way to Notting Hill Carnival with friends. Shakespeare's first folio has been on display today at the Guildhall Library. Published 400 years ago, it is one of the most influential books ever written in the English language. Only a handful of copies survive today. And a new Elizabeth Line timetable will be introduced next month, increasing the number of trains during on-peak and off-peak hours. The new timetable aims to improve journey times for commuters and reduce the need for customers to make changes between the stations. And before the break, we showed you a host of golden daffodils, but with a difference. Well, like the poppies at the Tower of London, remember them, this 15,000 flowers are ceramic and they're on display at Lowther Castle near Penrith. The scene was inspired, of course, by the William Wordsworth poem and will be individually sold to raise funds for six charities.